This is a little miniature LED tree that's designed to run off three AA cells. And the reason I bought it was because it's got the timer function whereby it turns on for, let me think, what, what's the timing? Uh, six hours on, 18 hours off. Which means that if you set it, say, um, at six o'clock every evening, well, should I should have say if you turn it on at six o'clock in the evening, then it'll stay on until about midnight, and then it'll, the next evening it'll turn on automatically at six o'clock again. It means the battery life is much longer. So let's uh, open it up and take a wee look inside. I need something to unhook that battery compartment. It's quite stiff. Oh, it's very stiff. There we go. Out come the batteries. It's got, uh, I can't really hold this uh, up under the camera here because it's quite a long body it's got on it. So it's got two screws. I think these are all it's really holding it. Maybe it's clipped in as well. Now, in previous incarnations of this uh, control, it's used a little step up circuit to drive strings of 24 LEDs. And kind of, I didn't like that because I, it seemed to make it very unstable as the battery went low. So, um, ooh, oh, blimey, that's small. Um, I don't see the little inductor. I think this is just driving it directly at the four and a half volts from the, the cells. That's good. So basically speaking, they've got the little crystal in the back, a little sort of clock type crystal, which it probably is because the reason they use the three thirty two point seven six eight kilohertz uh, crystals is because it's an exact binary division to get a one hertz rate. So it's often used for timing in clocks, things like that. So the chip is just a blob. So really they've gone to the point now that this is such a popular option that um, it really is just down to this, that it's glued in as well. It's not screwed in, it's very, very mass produced. Yeah, so that blob thing suggests it's now at the mass production level of uh, that they, you know, it justifies making the little circuit board like this, which is good. It's, it's all right, very simple. I see a transistor for switching the output and a resistor for the LEDs and a tiny little surface mount resistor there which is heading over probably in the direction of the transistor so not really that complicated the switch switches between the end of that resistor and it switches to the circuitry side of things so I'm wondering if they're relying on the transistor, because the transistor doesn't actually involve that resistor. I wonder if it's just relying on the res slight resistance imposed by the transistor itself of not fully turning on. But yeah, that's uh, gone very simple. Very simple uh, indeed. That's uh, about as bare as it could possibly get. It's quite uh, it's quite good. So yeah, I've I had it running for the last few nights and it seems quite nice. It's it's not super bright, but it's uh, it's quite uh, quite good nonetheless. It's it's, it's Yes, it's a definitely a step forward in the way of these control circuits.